This is a podcast from the Environmental Change and Security Program at the Woodrow Wilson International Center for Scholars. I'm Jeff DeBelco, and I direct the Environmental Change and Security Program at the Woodrow Wilson Center. During a recent trip to Costa Rica, I had the opportunity to sit down with Dr. Alexander Lopez, who is the Director of School of International Affairs at the National University of Costa Rica. Dr. Lopez is an expert on linkages between environment, conflict, and cooperation, particularly looking at transboundary river issues in Central America and South America. We had a chance to chat about a number of issues, including the environmental security agenda in Central America and really a growing awareness and a focus on vulnerability, uh, natural resource management impacts on environmental stresses, and then building regional institutions for taking integrated approaches to transboundary management of resources. Okay. Alex, you've been, um, you've been working on environmental security issues in Latin America, Central America, and then South America as well for, for many, many years. Um, from your perspective, where, are the, where is the environmental security agenda right now in, in Central America, say? Well, I guess that uh, the issue has been moving forward instead of the um, more concern with the issues uh, linking environmental issues to security issues, especially because in Central America, I- the region has experienced in the latest year uh, many process related to vulnerability uh, the region to um, uh, environmental uh, factors. And that has, has um, in a way, provoked or generated that many people working in the area previously in environmental matters or in development matters has been linking day by day more f- frequently environmental issues to security issues. That's one point. And the other point is that the military structure, uh, in a way, is getting weaker in the region. If you take the budget allocated to military, um, to the military apparatus, Central America is the region that has decreased. The only region in the world that has decreased the spending in military uh, structure, according to the uh, to the Institute for for International Studies in in Sweden. So basically, I see that the the agenda is is moving forward in terms of linking those issues. So I, I can see that it's a, a, a good future in mm-hmm. that sense. Did did um, did crises such as Hurricane Mitch uh, bring these issues more to the fore than they were before? Absolutely, absolutely. That's what I was referring that the this environmental you know environmental uh, that environmental issues you know like um, like hurricanes like um, storms uh, etc. You know the droughts in Central America. All those environmental um, uh, threats, mm-hmm. to put it in that way, has been more intense and frequent mm-hmm. as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. So that has you know, raised the awareness of people in the region. Mm-hmm. In the and, and, and mm-hmm. was it true that in, in places that already had some uh, higher levels of, say, deforestation, that they experienced um, greater... Uh, greater impacts from the storms than others that had more integrated and more um, uh, what, kind of sophisticated environmental management structures in place. Absolutely, you can see that perfectly in the region. I mean, if you compare, for instance, um, uh, what uh, has happened in Nicaragua in comparison to Costa Rica, uh, there is an enormous differences. And that has to do, of course, with the, uh, uh, with the type of environmental management that you have in one side and the other side. Mm-hmm. It is saying if you take a look up from the Dominican Republic to Haiti, mm-hmm. I mean, same event, same intensity, provoking different, of course, set of impacts, mm-hmm. basically. And in Central America, you can, I mean, you can see that differences too. Mm-hmm. Um, here at the School of International Relations, uh, the National University where, where you're the director, one of your core research areas is water. Uh, can you say a little bit about what some of the specific research topics you're, you're undertaking in addressing water issues? Well, basically we are um, working on the institutional dimension of water issues. I'm basically dealing with transboundary uh, river basins here in the region. And now, so we, ha- we have a 
a project now, um, well, one of the projects that is related to, that, to, to the issue that I was just referring to is, um, so the, 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 the question basically that we are trying to answer is how the building of uh, regional institutions dealing with water issues in Central America could contribute to the process of regional integration, you know. So in that sense, placing the agenda of regional integration from the borders to the capital city and not the other way around like it used to be, from mm -hmm. the capital to the border. Mm -hmm. So that, that's what I w we are trying to, to see in which way we, we can contribute to the process of regional integration from the border side. For more information on environment, development, security issues, please visit us online at the Wilson Center, www.wilsoncenter.org slash ECSP, or our blog, New Security Beat, at newsecuritybeat.blogspot.com.